Today, we're talking about the top 10 reasons that you should be adding meat rabbits to your homestead. And the first one being that they are a low cost startup animal to be adding to your homestead. These little guys, all you really need is one buck and two does to start your rabbit tree. And then all you're gonna need is a place for them to live, which can be a set of cages, watering sources, bowls for their food, their actual food, hay, and then other maintenance items that you'll need and we're gonna go through in our video today. So stay tuned, we're gonna go over the next nine in just a bit. I'm Danielle of the Split Arrow Farm and welcome to our channel where we bring you new content every week on how to start your own homestead or small farm to live a more self-sustainable lifestyle. And in the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be diving into some really great tips about how to raise your own meat rabbits and everything that you need to know. So you're definitely going to want to hit that subscribe button to become a part of our journey and really get in the know on meat rabbits and why you should be adding them to your homestead. But let's jump into our point number two, which is you really don't need that much space for these little guys and to start up your own self-sustainable lifestyle with raising meat rabbits. And that's because you can raise meat rabbits in as small of an apartment. You could have them in your basement, a garage, a barn, or any type of shed. And there aren't that many town regulations or laws restricting you from having your own rabbit tree. I know in our town, there are a lot of laws around roosters or animals that make noises or a disruption to the community, but rabbits are just such a quiet animal that don't take up that much space that there aren't really that many regulations around it. And it's not going to put on too many restrictions for you, which is in my mind, a great reason why they're such a good animal to add to your homestead. And not only that, but they're just so cute and amazing to watch grow up. The third reason why rabbits are gonna be a great addition to your homestead is there is such a wide variety of ways that you can integrate them into your homestead. So again, dependent on your land and property size, you can go into a smaller setup. So we have a barn that we've actually sectioned off for our different animals on our homestead, our rabbits, quails, and chickens as of now. And then we have some extra space for storage and our gardening supplies. What's really great about this is we have a setup where we're able to stack our rabbit cages and this really provides a lot more space for us to give them enough room as well as give us enough space for them in our homestead. There are also different ways that you can provide homes for your rabbits. Another way is you can actually create more of a lean-to type building, and I'll pop up a picture of this here, where you're able to actually hang the different cages down. And this is gonna create another way that you can do this. It doesn't usually have as many restrictions on your town because it is in a four-walled enclosed area. And what's really nice about this is you can actually let the droppings and urine fall to the ground and then scoop it up and use that as manure in your garden, which is a great positive of why rabbits are another great addition to your farm. And the third type of living that you can have for rabbits is actually putting them in a colony setting. And colony settings have grown really big in the last couple of years. And this is basically just bringing them back to more of their roots, giving them a space that is carved out for just them. They can freely run around most of the time people will put up little fun games and areas for them to play around in and this gives you the ability to just have them in one room that you don't have to worry about too much the fourth reason that rabbits are a great addition to your homestead is because of their meat now their meat is actually a really lean source of protein it's a low calorie alternative that is packed with protein and you're gonna find that these little guys actually grow out pretty quickly this rabbit is only a couple weeks old these rabbits in here are about eight weeks old you can see right here where this would be a rabbit that you could actually harvest at this time and the actual amount that you get from the harvesting to actual meat is around 60% which creates a very green source of meat that you're able to really watch the progression of and see that you're giving them clean hay, pickings from the outdoors, maybe grass clippings, leaves, and you're feeding them fresh water and you get to really see how your meat is created and you're getting a really lean source of protein that you can add to your diet. 
The fifth reason, going off of a sustainable meat source, they are a really great meat source that can help feed you. Now, a lot of people say that you can go hungry on rabbits, and because they are such a lean meat source, it probably wouldn't be ideal to only eat meat, the meat of rabbits as your entire diet because that just wouldn't be a diverse diet, and you probably wouldn't get the nutrition from just one source of food anyway. If we had you eating lettuce every day as your only source of food, you probably would be malnutritioned as well. So you want to make sure that you're adding them to your diet of other things that maybe you have on your farm, your homestead, that you're growing in your garden, or that you're also having other types of meat just to diversify what you're eating. But really with one to two does on your farm, you're going to be able to feed a family of two or four, or maybe even more, depending on how much you guys do eat and how many kids and how extensively you are breeding these rabbits. Now, our mama up here just had a litter of four. Our mama down at the bottom just had a litter of seven kids. And in only eight weeks, these are gonna grow out to around five pounds of meat. And that's gonna be a large amount of food that you can be feeding to your family and yourselves. So really great source of meat that you actually know where it's coming from. Number six is, again, these rabbits are gonna grow really quickly. So their time that it takes them to grow to harvestable meat is around eight weeks. And in that time, you're gonna be able to get a, what we call a fryer, which is gonna be around five pounds of meat, and you can easily just cook this up. It's really great meat. If you wait until 12 weeks, it will be a roaster, and anything over that, it will be a stewer, which kind of you think of how you're actually cooking it. So at eight weeks, you can fry it. At 12 weeks, you can roast it in a Dutch oven. And then, um, and plus 12 weeks, you might want to put it in like an Instant Pot or a slow cooker. So you're able to cook that out because it is going to get a bit tougher. So our breeding rabbits that we do have are much older. They are much larger, but their meat is going to be a lot tougher than some of the babies. So I definitely suggest that at eight weeks, if you are looking to harvest your rabbits, then that is going to be the best time. And eight weeks is a really fast growth rate. Now I know we've also had Cornish cross chickens, which will grow in about eight weeks, but let me tell you, rabbits are a million times better. Cornish cross they're just a special breed of chickens. They're just so smelly, so dirty, and rabbits, I mean, come on. This is a cute eight weeks that you're going for. Much better choice, in my opinion. Number seven on our list is that it really is a low maintenance animal. You can see here that these rabbits are just chilling all day. We make sure to provide them with wood blocks that they can chew on. We make sure to provide them enough water throughout the day, especially in the cold, making sure that you are bringing them water that isn't frozen, but that goes with all animals at your homestead. And then giving them free hay. We feed them one time daily. And we also will make sure to give them some types of maintenance, which would be nail trimming and then just making sure that they're healthy. But beyond that, there really isn't too much maintenance that you need to do. And it's really great if you are looking to go on short vacation trips, we'll have just the person petting our dogs come in and just make sure to feed them once a day, open up, give them some air and light and kind of that's it, really. We started off this video saying that the number one reason that rabbits are great for your homestead is that they are a low cost startup. And they're even a low cost once you get things rolling. You wanna make sure to provide your rabbits with a bunch of free hay all day. We're kind of stocking that and making sure that it's either alfalfa or Timothy hay or anything of the likes. And you can do research on your breed and what you want to be feeding them. We then give them a high protein diet and depending on on their age may drop or raise the percentage of the protein to help them grow depending on what we would like them to be doing. And then we will offer them any type of free treats or scraps. We'll give them some apples, carrots, anything that um, we have in our kitchen maybe extra of, but we make sure that those are only treats. You really don't wanna be feeding them that too often. And then what's really great, especially in the summer months, is pulling down some leaves from the trees or pulling up some grass and dandelions from the ground and putting that into their trays. Or even we will 
pull out our rabbit tractors and let them graze that way as well and also get just outside in the sun and that greatness but it's really just a low cost animal you aren't really spending too much money on their feed and too much time even doing it because we really only feed them once a day and then we give them hay at that same time number nine is that they're actually an incredibly easy animal to process there are a few different methods that people will use one is the broomstick method which i won't go into too many graphics there but you can do the broomstick method you can do anything of like a pellet gun and kind of do that way or there are different types of contraptions that you can use and i'll throw a picture up here of them and it is pretty easy it happens pretty quickly if you do this in a humane way and the cleaning process is relatively easy and you're able to get that meat on your table rather quickly and it's usually quite delicious now number 10 and the reason why i listed this as the last reason is because i have gotten so much feedback that everyone loves this reason for their rabbits and we talked about it a little bit in the different types of cages but they are a great source for garden manure and most times people will actually sell their droppings which can go from up to $40, um, a bag which is just insane. But yes, you can collect their droppings. Both their droppings and their urine are gonna be great for your garden and they can actually be used very quickly. They do not need any process where you let them wait. They can actually go straight into the garden, but really great source. They're gonna not only help you in being able to harvest them but they're going to be helping you with your garden and other operations on the farm which is amazing love all of that cross pollination within your farm now i hope you guys liked this video those are the top 10 reasons that you should be adding meat rabbits to your homestead this year but i'd love to hear more comments down below and i'm gonna throw up other videos we have a rabbit playlist of so many great videos we're gonna be doing a bunch more rabbit videos in the coming weeks as well as another video that you can watch right here that's it though have a good one